typical day in the barn, brother. That's when two atoms, they share electrons. You see, they both need what the other one has. That makes them stick together. Are you saying we're covalent bonds? What? No. We're not atoms, dude. Who would have thought that we'd be able to learn some chemistry from Chan and Tatum? Covalent bonds form between non-metal atoms which share their valence electrons to form a complete outer shell. All elements want to have a full, stable, outer electron shell like the noble gas elements found in group 8 of the periodic table. What we're focusing on is the energy levels and the maximum number of electrons that can occupy that energy level. This is where we have to look at the electron arrangement of that particular element. If the outermost occupied energy level is the first energy level, it can hold and wants to achieve a maximum of two electrons. If the outermost energy level is the second energy level, it wants to achieve and hold a maximum of eight electrons. If the third energy level is the outermost occupied energy level, it wants to also occupy a total of eight electrons. If the outermost occupied energy level is the first energy level, it has a spherical shape and it can hold a maximum of two electrons. If the outermost occupied energy level is the second or third energy level, we represent that by a petal shape, which is known as a tetrahedral. Remember, the word tetra means four. So the petal has four petals. It can hold a maximum of eight electrons. Elements found in group four have four outer electrons in their outermost shell. They need to gain four electrons to achieve stability. Elements found in group four have a valency of four. Elements in group five, however, such as nitrogen, which has the chemical symbol N and the electron arrangement 2, 5, needs to gain three electrons to achieve stability. So elements found in group five will have a valency of three. That's the number of bonds that they need to achieve a full, stable outer electron shell. Elements in group six, such as oxygen, which has the electron arrangement 2, 6, needs to gain two electrons to achieve stability. So elements found in group six of the periodic table have a valency of two. Group seven elements, such as fluorine, which has the electron arrangement two, seven, need to gain one electron to achieve stability. So elements found in group seven of the periodic table have a valency of one. That brings us on to the last group, which could be known as group zero or group eight. These are a special block in the periodic table, which are known as the noble gases. The noble gases don't form bonds, and the reason is that they already have a full stable outer electron shell. This is the electron arrangement that all other elements in the periodic table are trying to achieve. The way that I remember the valencies going along from group one to group zero is using a little song. The song goes, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, zero. So I'm going to talk you through preparing for covalent sharing diagrams. It's really important that we're able to identify the shape of the shell that we have to use for the elements present in a compound. So to begin with, we're going to go through some examples of how we would represent the particular electron energy level for different types of non-metal elements. There are a couple of steps that we have to look at. Step number one, we want to write the group and the valency for the element present. Number two, we want to write down the electron arrangement, which can be found on page six of your chemistry data booklet. Step number three is the most important. We want to draw the outer electron shell for the element. So remember, we will draw a circle if the outermost electrons are found in the first energy level and a petal 
if we're looking at the second or third or fourth or fifth shell. Step number four, we are going to draw in the electrons. Let's look at hydrogen, which is the first element which is found in the periodic table. The chemical symbol for hydrogen is H. It's found in group one, valency one. We're going to circle the valency. The electron arrangement of hydrogen is one. That electron is found in the first energy level. So we're going to represent that diagram via a circle. How many electrons does hydrogen have in that energy level? It has one. The next element across is helium. The chemical symbol is HE. It's found in group eight and has a valency of zero. Now, it's really important for us to think back to our definition about a covalent bond. Remember, a covalent bond is when atoms share electrons to achieve stability. They want to have an outer electron arrangement like the noble gas elements, which are found in group eight. This element is found in group eight. It already has a full stable outer electron shell. The electron arrangement for helium is two. We're looking at that first energy level. We know that that would be a circle and it has two electrons which are found in there. The first energy level can occupy a maximum of two electrons. It's already got that. And as a result, helium will not form bonds. The term that we use to describe the elements which are found in group eight or the noble gases is monatomic. That means that they exist as individual atoms and will not form covalent bonds. Carbon has the chemical symbol C. It's found in group four and has a valency of four. Carbon's electron arrangement is two, four. What we can see is that the outermost occupied energy level is the second energy level. Therefore, we are going to draw a petal diagram. We put in the four outer electrons. Nitrogen has the chemical symbol N. It's found in group five and has a valency of three. The electron arrangement is two, five. The outermost occupied energy level is the second energy level. So we draw our petal diagram. It has five outer electrons. So we pop those in. Remember, the electrons have to sit in single seats before they double up. Oxygen has the chemical symbol O. It's found in group six and has a valency of two. The electron arrangement of oxygen is two, six. The outermost occupied energy level is the second energy level. So again, we are going to draw a petal diagram. We need to put in those six outer electrons. Remember, the electrons sit singly before they double up. The last example that I'm going to go through is for fluorine. It has the chemical symbol F. It's found in group seven, has a valency of one. The electron arrangement is two, seven. We circle the outermost occupied energy level, which is the second energy level. So we draw a petal. We pop in the seven outer electrons. Remember, we have to make them sit singly before we double them up. We already know that elements are made up of one type of atom. However, there are a select few elements which exist as diatomic elements. This means that they only contain two atoms. There are seven elements that exist as diatomic molecules. And those are iodine, bromine, chlorine, fluorine, oxygen, nitrogen, and hydrogen. They always exist as two 
elements chemically join together via a covalent bond. It's really important that we know this because we will be expected to not only know the chemical formula for those, but be able to show and draw the covalent sharing diagrams for these diatomic elements. The way that I remember the seven diatomic elements is by saying the little phrase, I bring clay for our new house. It will be expected that you are able to draw the covalent sharing diagrams for diatomic elements or covalent sharing diagrams for compounds. In this lesson, we are going to focus on being able to draw the covalent sharing diagrams for the diatomic elements. So we've got a couple of steps that we want to follow that are very similar to our preparing for our covalent sharing diagrams. Step one, we want to write the group and valency for the elements which are present in the formula. Number two, we want to circle the one with the highest valency. We then write down the electron arrangement for that element. Step number four, we have to draw the correct outer electron shell. Remember, it's a circle. If the outermost electrons are found in the first energy level and a petal if it is found in the second, third, fourth fifth shell. Step number five, we repeat for step three and we make sure that we overlap the shell which is drawn in step four so that we can get them to have a shared pair of electrons. So let's take hydrogen as our first diatomic molecule and draw the covalent sharing diagram for that. The formula for hydrogen is H2. Remember, it's diatomic, hence why there's a 2 after the chemical symbol. It's found in group 1, has a valency of 1. The electron arrangement for hydrogen is 1. The outermost occupied energy level is the first energy level. So we will draw a circle to represent that energy level. And we pop in the 1 electron. In the formula, we have got two hydrogens, so we write down the electron arrangement for the second hydrogen atom. Again, it's one. It's found in the first energy level, so we're going to draw another circle. This time, we have to make sure that we overlap the orbitals because what they want to do is they want to share their electrons. So we pop in the second electron here. And what we can see is both electrons are found in that overlap. That there is known as the covalent bond. They are sharing a pair of electrons to achieve stability. Because the first energy level can occupy a maximum of two electrons. And the way that they do this is by sharing them. As there is one shared pair of electrons, that represents one covalent bond, which is known as a single bond. The next example that we're going to have a look at is fluorine. The chemical formula for fluorine is F2. Again, remember, it's a diatomic molecule, so that's why there's a 2 after the chemical symbol for F. It's found in group 7 and has a valency of 1. Fluorine has the electron arrangement 2,7. The outermost occupied energy level is the second energy level. So this time we're going to draw a petal diagram. It has seven electrons which occupy that energy level. So we pop them in. Remember that the electrons sit singly before they double up. So we need to make sure that we do that when we are popping the electrons in for this diagram. From the formula, we have got a second fluorine atom and the electron arrangement remains the same. It's the second occupied energy level, so we are going to draw another petal. This time we need to make sure that we overlap the unpaired electron which was found in the first fluorine atom. We have seven electrons, so we get them to sit singly before they double up. What we can see is in the overlap, we have a shared pair of electrons. This represents the covalent bond. Each fluorine atom has achieved stability 
as the second energy level can occupy a maximum of eight electrons. Chlorine has the chemical formula Cl2. It's found in group seven and has a valency of one. The electron arrangement of chlorine is two, eight, seven. The outermost occupied energy level is the third energy level. So we're going to be using our petal diagram. There are seven electrons which occupy that outermost energy level. Remember that they sit singly before they double up. From the formula, we have a second chlorine atom. The electron arrangement is still the same. So we're going to make sure that we draw another petal diagram. We need to make sure that we are overlapping the petals which have the unpaired electrons. We're going to pop in the seven outer electrons for the second chlorine atom, making sure that the electrons are sitting singly before they double up. What we can see is now that we have a shared pair of electrons. And again, this is our covalent bond. Each atom now has eight outer electrons, which allows it to achieve stability as the second energy level and third energy level can occupy a maximum of eight electrons. Chlorine is similar to fluorine. It has one shared pair of electrons, which means it has a single bond. Bromine has the chemical formula Br2. It's found in group seven and has a valency of one. The electron arrangement is 2, 8, 18, 7. We circle the outermost occupied energy level, which is the fourth energy level. Again, we're going to draw our petal diagram. We're going to put those seven outer electrons in. Remember, they sit singly before they double up. From the formula, we have another bromine atom, which has the same electron arrangement. Ensuring that we are overlapping the petal, which has the unpaired electron. We pop the seven outer electrons, and what we can see is we've got a shared pair of electrons, which represents our covalent bond. Bromine has one pair of shared electrons, so therefore it has a single covalent bond. Iodine has the chemical formula I2. It's found in group seven and has a valency of one. Iodine has the electron arrangement two, eight, eighteen, eighteen, seven. We circle the outermost occupied energy level. Again, we're going to draw a petal diagram. We pop in the seven outer electrons. Remember that they sit singly before they double up. From the formula, we have got another iodine atom which has the same electron arrangements. So we're going to make sure that we draw another we petal. pop in the rest of the seven outer electrons, ensuring that they are sitting singly before they double up. Again, what we can see is we've got a shared pair of electrons. That is our covalent bond. As there is only one overlap showing a one shared pair of electrons, that means that iodine has one single covalent bond. Oxygen has the chemical formula O2. It's found in group six and has a valency of two. The electron arrangement of oxygen is two, six. The outermost occupied energy level is the second energy level, which means that we are going to draw a petal diagram. Now, this one is a bit tricky. What you can see is that I've highlighted the X in the word oxygen. The easiest way to draw this covalent shaded diagram is to put the petal on its sides, almost like it looking like an X. We pop in the six outer electrons, remembering that they sit singly before they double up. What we can see now is that we have two unpaired electrons, which means this time we're going to have two overlaps or two covalent bonds. From the formula, we've got another oxygen atom. So we write down the electron arrangement. And again, it's going to be a petal. This time, we have to overlap two of the petals, 
with the unpaired electrons. We stick in the six outer electrons. They sit singly before they double up. What we can see in this diagram is that we have two pairs of shared electrons, which means that oxygen has a double bond. Nitrogen is the hardest example that you'll have to do for drawing a covalent sharing diagram. It has the chemical formula N2, it's found in group 5 and has a valency of 3. Nitrogen has the electron arrangement 2, 5. Now this time we are going to draw a kind of different shape. Have you ever heard of bananas in pyjamas? Bananas in pyjamas are walking down the stairs. Well, what we're going to do is we are going to draw the petal almost like a banana split. So we'll draw the petal this time looking like this. And we pop in our five outer electrons. What we can see is that we have three unpaired electrons, which means we're going to have to have three overlaps for this nitrogen to achieve stability. We've got another nitrogen atom which has the same electron arrangement. So therefore we mimic that on the other side. We ensure that three of the petals are overlapping the unpaired electrons. We pop in the five outer electrons for the second nitrogen atom, making sure they sit singly before they double up. What we can see is now we have three shared pair of electrons, which means nitrogen N2 has a triple bond. It has three covalent bonds present. Remember, we must know our diatomic elements. I bring clay for our new house. Iodine, bromine, chlorine, fluorine, oxygen, nitrogen and hydrogen. This question's from the National 5 2017 written 3A. Chlorine can form covalent and ionic bonds. Chlorine gas is made up of diatomic molecules. Draw a diagram showing all outer electrons to represent a molecule of chlorine, Cl2. Chlorine has the chemical formula Cl2. It's found in group 7 and has a valency of 1. The electron arrangement of chlorine is 2, 8, 7. The outermost occupied energy level is the third energy level. So we're going to be using our petal diagram. There are seven electrons which occupy that outermost energy level. Remember that they sit singly before they double up. From the formula, we have a second chlorine atom. The electron arrangement is still the same. So we're going to make sure that we draw another petal diagram. We need to make sure that we are overlapping the petals which have the unpaired electrons. We're going to pop in the seven outer electrons for the second chlorine atom, making sure that the electrons are sitting singly before they double up. What we can see is now that we have a shared pair of electrons. And again, this is our covalent bond. This past paper question is from the National 5 2019 written 3a. Nitrogen and hydrogen react together to form ammonia. Draw a diagram showing all outer electrons to represent a molecule of nitrogen gas, N2. Nitrogen is the hardest example that you'll have to do for drawing a covalent sharing diagram. It has the chemical formula N2. It's found in group 5 and has a valency of 3. Nitrogen has the electron arrangement 2, 5. Now this time, we are going to draw a kind of different shape. Have you ever heard of bananas in pyjamas? Bananas in pyjamas are walking down the stairs. Well, what we're going to do is we are going to draw the petal 
almost like a banana split. So we'll draw the petal this time looking like this. And we pop in our five outer electrons. What we can see is that we have three unpaired electrons, which means we're going to have to have three overlaps for this nitrogen to achieve stability. We've got another nitrogen atom, which has the same electron arrangement. So therefore we mimic that on the other side. We ensure that three of the petals are overlapping the unpaired electrons. We pop in the five outer electrons for the second nitrogen atom, making sure they sit singly before they double up. What we can see is now we have three shared pair of electrons, which means nitrogen N2 has a triple bond. It has three covalent bonds present. 